Well, we've been talking about this, Stockton Heat, right? Well, they're in-house. we got tickets to give away. we got to find out about their upcoming season because it's exciting. You know, running, there's a lot of dedication there. But to be a hockey player, not only is it dedication, but there's also sometimes blood. Sometimes there's sweat, sometimes there's tears, and sometimes it's all of it together. So here to tell us a little more about the Stockton Heat's current season, which I understand is going pretty darn well, and they have a playoff game coming up. We have with us amazing player. We have Hunter Smith and also Brandon Kisker. He's broadcaster, and uh, you guys are going to give us a little bit of an update right now on the season. So how's the season going for the Heat? Well, season's going great right now. We're, we're in the postseason. We're in Yay! the playoffs right now, and we're playing uh, the San Jose Sharks affiliate, the San Jose Barracuda, and the first two games we played in San Jose last mm -hmm. weekend, we split them, so now we have home ice advantage essentially as we have tomorrow uh, a game tomorrow on Friday and then a game on Sunday as well as it's a best of five series we look to try and get uh, get the crowd raring, uh, raring these boys up so that they can get the two wins they need. I feel like I'm at a game right now with you. It's obvious that you're a broadcaster because yes. you're like getting me excited to go to this playoff the way you're talking about it. It's so exciting. Okay so now we're getting close to the playoff game so how does that impact you Hunter? I mean as a player do you change your training? How do you get ready for something like this? Yeah I think the kind of whole mentality around playoffs changes like you said it's blood sweat and tears so mm -hmm. um, you know this is uh, do or die so the guys give it all they got all the time. Um, I think you're doing a little bit more to take care of your body. Um, practices kind of change a little bit uh, as far as intensity and uh, tweaking, you know, to other teams' uh, needs and whatnot. So uh, it's definitely a different time of year and an exciting time of year. So um, you know, it's a big game three we got coming up Friday, mm -hmm. and uh, like he said, uh, coming back home is uh, huge for us right now. Absolutely, it's a great advantage to have too. And how excited are you to be entering into the postseason? Yeah, it's uh, it's awesome. It's going to be the first game for the Heat at uh, Stockton Arena yes. in the postseason. So. Uh, all the guys are excited and we're hoping for a good turnout and uh, you know we, we want the fans there behind us. Well and I have to say I've attended a couple of Heat games and it's exciting because the fans love you and if you've never been talking to the viewers you've got to go because just the energy and the excitement in the arena is awesome. Um, you, as, as you know your fans love you. They love you when they come out they get excited they rally for you they're right behind you. I need to know though Hunter what do you do to get your mindset ready for something like this? I mean do you do like you know, you don't change your socks, or do you grow your beard a little longer? Like, what's your good luck token here? Yeah, I might have cheated on the beard a bit, but uh, <laughs> you know, a lot of guys, a lot of guys do the uh, the playoff beards. Uh, uh -huh. You know, other than that, uh, guys are pretty individual on their day-to-day -day routines as far as that stuff goes. But you know, maybe wear the same suit when you get a win. Uh, okay. You know, just kind of follow that same routine. I know some guys are pretty superstitious. Other guys aren't so much, but. Uh, you know, just little things like that that you can tweak and keep the same. What you can do, though, right, to keep your head in the game and feel confident, it, it doesn't matter if you have stinky socks, man, or if your facial hair is a little too long. Exactly. As long as you're present and you're able to get the job done, right? <laughs> That's right. Okay, so remind our viewers, when are these games? And uh, when can they come out to support the Heat? So Friday night, uh, our game is at 7 o'clock at Stockton Arena. It's uh, doors for, for Stockton Arena will open at 6 o'clock. Fans will get uh, a rally towel uh, upon entering, oh, cool. which will be cool to get the, get the crowd pumped up, get the boys pumped up. On Sunday, game four, that's going to be a 4 o'clock start time at Stockton Arena. 3 o'clock will be doors uh, when they'll open. And uh, obviously, we'll give out some more rally towels then as well. So uh, we're really looking forward to this, and, and we really – I mean, it's. I've been excited for Friday and Sunday to roll around, and mm -hmm. I know that these guys are too. So excellent. Okay, and where can our viewers go so they can uh, get some tickets and also take a look at that schedule? Well, they can go to StocktonHeat.com always uh, and and get some tickets that way. Get a group out. 209-373-1500 is uh, the number for our front office. You get tickets from them, and I think they can get tickets from you. Too. They certainly can right now. How's that for a volley? Thank you. Yes.